Hi everyone, Miss Krista here from the Kishner Library and today I'm going to share with you how to make these really cool, really big paper stars. All you need for this project are some paper lunch bags, some glue, and if you want to hang them on your wall, some kind of yarn or thread, and if you want to decorate it, I use some watercolor. So first you're gonna need seven paper bags. You can do these with white or brown. I think they look really pretty either way. And um, I'm using hot glue here just because it's the fastest. I just do a long strip of glue and a little T shape there. The most important thing really for this is to make sure that all your paper bags are kind of facing the same direction. So you wanna glue the bottoms to the bottom on top of each other. And if you do end up using like just some liquid Elmer's glue, um, it works just fine. You just have to be a little more patient while you wait for it to dry. After you have all seven of your bags all neatly glued and stacked up on each other, you are going to cut off the little corners to make a little pointy shape out of your lunch bags. This will make it into a star and um, you can see here my scissors were not that great. So get yourself some nice sharp scissors because you're cutting through seven thick little bags by now and it's definitely kind of a struggle. I should have grabbed my better scissors. Now that you have all that finished, I like to go ahead and pop it open, make sure that it's not caught on anything and then add a one more little strip of glue down the middle and a little line down the bottom and then pop it back open and putting my hand inside the bags, just kind of squishing it together and making sure that it's nice and sealed. And there you have a big old paper star. I wasn't really sure how to go about decorating one of these since the paper is quite thin once you get it into the star shape. So I just got some watercolors out and really carefully um, painted the little insides there of the sides of the bags. I um, really kind of stuck my hand inside the bag a lot to support the paper while I painted it. And even though it was a little squishy and I worried about it, once it dried, it was just fine and hung up just as easily as the one I did not paint. As you can see here, they're really big, they're really fun, and I hope you get a chance to make some too. Um, I will see you next week with another video, and in the meantime, take care, wash your hands, bye.